won this event in 2017. Had a top 10 finish last week in Des Moines after a birdie at one. Missed a short birdie putt at two, and then Lanny pours this in at three. Yeah, nice fluid stroke there by Fred. Great read. Fred Couples would get that back after that bogey at the fourth with this third into six. His Both his playing partners hit it left of the flag, spun it off the green. So what does Fred do? He reads it a little bit better, puts it right of the flag, works it down to the hole. Now Fred coming down the hill, par four, 197 yards, really quick putt. Fred is, currently at two under par. Is it ever? That was really quick. He didn't hit that very hard at all. 280 to the first one, 300 past the first one. And Fred got off to a hot start with birdies at one and three. Oh, he's overcooked. This is up the left-hand side. There is a penalty area up the left-hand side. Uh, it's still in the fairway, and that wow. is... Talk about speed slots. Look for Fred to try to cut this in there. He's aiming at that left bunker, choking down on it. Trying to hit a nice high cut. Yeah, definitely doing that. Actually, this is a little wide right. That catches the green side bunker. Plenty of green to work with. Yeah, you know, he doesn't have the best of the lives right now. There's, a, there's just some imperfect sand just behind the ball, so. Look for this ball to actually run out a bit coming out of this line here. Fred, fantastic out of the bunkers. Important to set your body to the angle of the slope. Swing through the angle. Keep your speed up. He certainly did that. Spin, spin. Two under par. Like I said, got off to a really quick start. The birds at one and three and actually missed about a four foot or three footer at the second. Big power lip out. Didn't bury the par five second. Yeah, fantastic read there. Just absolutely liquid as it went right over the front edge of the cup. Perfect speed. That would have gone in on any side of the golf hole. But he's also been very straight throughout his career. He's, I think, one of the preeminent drivers of the golf ball we've ever had. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, that sets up his whole game for him. Just a bullet at the left-hand side, fading back. Should run out a little bit, lands in that left-hand side, chasing out nicely. You couldn't place it any better there. No, that was a gorgeous move right there for Fred. I love the shot shape. Normally, yeah, ball just on the upslope, just ever so slightly. Come on. Taking dead aim here. How about that? Beauty. Great shot right in left of the flag. He's got about eight, nine feet. Wonderful yeah. shot. A couple's coming off the birdie at the par five ninth to get to four under par here. Good one to add here. Tough hole par five coming up. <laughs> no question there. That looked too easy. So Fred Couples pours in his fifth birdie of the day. We are back for American Family Insurance Championship, Madison, Wisconsin. Fred Couples tee shot at the par five, 11th. Back up the hill. It's a good one. He possibly could reach this green in two. Just has to skirt those right bunkers and he's done it perfectly. I think he definitely has the firepower to get there. And you speak of that bunker, John. Uh, they, they took it out. It did make the hole any easier because it's a really low collection area, so you got to be aware of that area over there as well. No doubt. Aiming a little left, trying to hit a cut. And I think yeah, this up. is way left. This needs to get down because there is tall fescue over there. Oh, hit, either hit somebody and bounce back to the right. I think it caught that youngster on the leg. What's this backswing here for this short little pitch? how long it is, he's just going to lay the club on the back of the ball. Let the club head do the work, even though it's coming out of the rough. Will this be one of his famous one-handers, one-hand well, release? You know, I don't think he needs it that high. I don't think he's going to go to that shot just yet. Oh, that was pretty well done. <laughs> he landed in the spot you had to land. He had about a three-foot radius in which you had to land that, and he certainly did. Yeah. Beautifully done. Billy was talking about that radius. There's two little pitching areas. Now check this swing out. 
soft hands, pretty full backswing, drops the club under. He had the early set, which I like, set to learn that way the right hand can really work back underneath. And up to the 11th to see if Fred Couples can take advantage of that nice break he got on his second. Now, Billy Ray, what do you read here? Yeah, this is actually a bit left to right. Uh, this would be for his third birdie in a row for Couples. <laughs> Just trips it in as well. That is a drip in exactly right in the center. Perfect speed. All right, here we go. 202 yards downhill. Plays downhill about 15 yards. And that hole where it's positioned today, it's in between a saddle right and left. So get it out to the left, hole high, to go back to the right, out to the right, to go back left. You know, the other thing too, Bob, Billy Ray, is, you know, coming back to a set of greens you've won on, I think that instills a lot of confidence in the players. Yeah, this has got to go. This is up in the breeze. This is going to come up woefully short here. Wow. Are you surprised, Billy Ray, with considering how good he is pitching the ball? 100%. I'm very surprised at this play right now. But he wants to get it on the ground as quick as possible. You have to be careful. This ball will get away from you as well. I'm kind of surprised he's having the flag held. Uh, that's interesting in itself. That's going to need to pick up some speed here. I didn't like the play either, Billy Ray. It's yeah. too much, too much fairway to go through. And I think he's got to be a little firmer with this one than the ones he's let drip in the last few holes, too. Yeah. If he lets it drip in, he's going to have to give it some room out to the right. Well, he did. <laughs> wow. You ask, yeah. and you shall receive. Yes, yeah, you got it. Wow. Nice putt, Fred. We are back to the 13th University Ridge Golf Course. Our leader, Fred Couples, after that beautiful par save at 12. Now, less than driver, Billy Ray. Yeah, up the hill, this par four tee shot. 263 to the bunker on that left. And lands just short of that bunker, and it'll funnel back down to the right. Important to keep your tee ball in the fairway on this tight hole location. Ball below his feet. Coming straight down, Wynn. No angle at all. You know, it's not bad, just about 10 or 12 feet left of the hole, and that'd be a putt that comes back up the hill. Ah, uh, needs to go just a bit, just carries okay. over that bunker. That hit really firm there. Oh, Very good shot. Checked up nicely, too. Good strike. Well done. See Fred there trying to extend that lead. No birdies at the 13th hole so far. Short par four up the hill, and that swung left to right across the hole. That looked good for a long time. Billy Ray, maybe even the three hybrid. You know, one thing about a golf course like this that is tree-lined heavily on both sides, it really narrows the focus down of the players off the tee. You would think, okay, they want to see something wide, but sometimes a narrow driving area with trouble left and right really narrows the eye focus of the player. Good aggressive swing there by Fred. Like that one. That ball chasing out a long ways up this fairway here, and that's about 15 yards short. Billy Ray would think this sets up nicely for him. Very much so, but he has to contend with the downslope here. You got to make sure you stay in this shot. I know he'd like to hit this little shot from 114 to the left to right, but you cannot come out of this and miss just right of the flag. There's a deep bunker on that right-hand side. you got to be looking out to the left, even though you think you could take dead aim. But this is a shot here. If you stay in, in his spine here, it should hit a low spinner. And bring it in from left to right. It should take one bounce again. Took one big uh, bounce. Wow, that ball really released That's a like, lot. Wow. Well, Fred's been putting it all together, ma matching the line and the speed wonderfully so far. If he can match this one, that'd be incredible. He's looking way out to the left. Just a hair too much pace. Goes left hand low on the short putts. Made a long putt for par at 12. No problem. 
three pars in a row for couples as they head to the short par four 15th. So this has to be, you know, at the green or to the right, but not too far right. Obviously, is the big trouble. It's gonna look like he's aiming left. It's gonna hit just a big peeler. Well, I mean, it fits his eye, this shape. I'm just playing percentage. This ball up the right hand side here. Did it go the club? Wasn't a oh. solid strike. Hits yeah. some something. It's yeah, it catches a tree. It comes back underneath one of the fans' chairs. It really does. It lands it just past that front edge and out of this lie. Should release all the way up that little slope. I wouldn't suspect he would be looking out to the right and trying to use some of that slope and make it go back to the left. And then low and to the left. Oh my. Does it come off that? Just slowed up in the, the mm. first cut. Play it right off that right foot. Aiming way left. Just has to put it on that first cut. It will go all the way back down to the whole location, just like that. Here it comes back down to the right. Didn't hit it. Caught it just a bit on the toe, guys. Came out really dead. Up to this point, though, he is, with his speed, it's just, it comes natural sometimes when you get a point to where you know exactly what the speed's gonna do, you, your body just reacts to it, and all you can do is be concerned about the line. And that's a good spot when you have that going for you. Set out there to the left, maybe powered it through the break a little bit. After a bogey at 15, Fred Couples on the green at the par 5 16th. That'd be on the tee. But he's got he's got driver. On well, the he tee. might be able to drive the green. <laughs> this up the left hand side. Didn't challenge the trees up the right. Needs to get down. It could go through the fairway. It does. It's right mm. in that no man's land in the middle, Billy Ray. He's only got 193 yards to the front of the green, but where it's positioned at, he's, his, his total is going to be. Uh, 224 yards where he's going but he's actually looking like this ball comes out very low here and he used to stop and gets in that bunker it's gonna leave kind of a tough bunker shot Fred couples playing his third shot at the par 5 16th he's got a good lie but a good 25 yards plus here over this shot very difficult Oh, a clean strike here. Really well played there, Billy Ray. Wow. That's gorgeous. And that's really well done. Take a look at this. He's going to throw this up really high and soft. A lot of speed on this to get it up there. Hits on the down slope and just trundles down to the hole. That is really well done by Fred. This is for couples seventh birdie of the day. Ah, what an up and down there. Wow. Impressive. Seven birdies, two bogeys for couples through 16. He's got the outright lead at five under and a good day for scoring in Madison. Well, to add insult to injury, right when that ball was mid-flight, the wind kicked up helping here. And that sometimes, you know, first tee off on a par three, now couples are going to take advantage of that. And the wind has kicked up in the last couple of minutes. Bye. Oh, my God. This is just absolutely Suffering. torched here. Fight. It's going to go over the green. Yeah, that'll get through into the rough, primary rough in the back. A yeah, very un Fred Couples like, normally a great driver of the golf ball. Lanny was talking about that yesterday. Not only long, but very, very straight for someone that hits it that long. Fred, two birdies and a bogey as well. Coming off a nice par save there at 10. Depending how brave you want to be. Looks like he's going to go upstairs a little bit. Trying to hit a little cutter in there and it didn't land it quite far enough, but that's rolling out. These greens are starting to get a little fire in them after that rain from yesterday, and that it's pretty well done. See, they do that a lot on the Champions Tour. We tend to forget from when we first get the yardage till we get ready to play. <laughs> that happens. Anyway. A, a great, lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Great chance for Fred here to make up some ground. Won't be a lot of twos at this hole. One good swing right here for Freddie. 
It's hanging a little right. Doesn't like that one. Needs to catch a piece of the green. Flies in the bunker. That's not an easy up and down. Fred Couples playing his second shot at the 12th. Hitting kind of a high dump and run and pretty well done there by Fred. It was not the easiest play and leaves a pretty simple look from about five feet for his three. Now at the 12th, Fred Couples for his par. Couples with three birdies. One bogey today came at the difficult fourth. Good five, six feet here for Fred. Goes left hand low on these. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect pace. His putting stroke has been great this week. Great par saves at 10 and 12 for Couples. He remains four back. Fred Couples, second shot at the 13th. Back up the hill. Back left hole location. Got a little bit of a ridge to the right you could use. Cannot oh. go long. Needs a big skip up. There it is. Little check and, check and hold right there underneath the hole. That'll give him a good look. Now Fred Couples for birdie. Had to replace his ball. Retief Goosen's hit Fred's ball. And puts it back and ends up making birdie. Up to 14. Less than driver for, for Fred Couples at 14. And landing 14 playing straight downwind today. Yeah, and you can take it through the fairway at about 270 or so, and that's just a hybrid for Fred, probably his three hybrid, and it's still going to be down there pretty well. Just a wedge left from there, uh, which never thought that would be a factor for Fred. To me, this is a tough puck. He's spending, spending a lot of time trying to get the read correct and never had it where he wanted it. Just turned more. I think he... Kept seeing more break, but didn't like it. Correct. See what faces Fred right here, going back down the hill. A oh, little back foot. It's going to kind of check it to the front and let it release. Now that needs to whoa. Pretty good bank right there. Didn't check as much as he wanted to. Maybe not the cleanest strike. It's got some speed, too. There you go, left hand low. I mean, I, I just think he makes a better stroke with this. Will it stay up? It does. That is so silky that way. Beautiful speed there for Fred Couples. Gets him within two. Jerry Kelly, followed by Jim Furyk, Retief Goosen here in Madison. Looks like it. It's left hand low, so yeah. Couples trying to get to within one of Jerry Kelly. That was rude. Pretty good putt right there, not to go down. He had one of those at the second yesterday. Oh, that was even ruder. It went, came back at him. And Fred Couples is ready to play his tee shot at 17, 178 yards front, 195 hole location. You want to fly it up just about three or four steps on the green. Can't miss it to the right, and that is really well played. Hole high, outstanding golf shot right there. Missed that good opportunity there at 16. Not much to this. Beautiful release through the ball. You could see that from even from that angle, you could see the, the putter head just kept moving, kept the energy right in the center. Perfect speed again. What a beautiful putt and a great two. There's been only one birdie at 18 all day today. It's played as the second hardest hole on the golf course. Yeah, tough hole location at right front center. Slopes right to left. Fred should be taking it right over that first bunker right up the right hand side that you see or maybe splitting the next two. He does. Boy, he's driven the ball beautifully this week. Just an exhibition of how to drive it. Yeah, <clears throat> ball above his feet, but he needs to hit a little cut with that hole location on the right hand side. He sure tried to. He's watching it. That's usually a good sound when Fred stays there and watches it. That's an excellent play. Hole high, uphill putt from about 
oh, 14, 15 feet. He can be aggressive with that one. Good look here for Fred up the slope. No reason not to be aggressive with this. He has really rolled the ball nice for two days, I think. Made some quality putts. A lot of stuff in this range and just a little closer. Should be putting with a lot of confidence right now. If he makes this, it's 31 coming in. Did he hit it? Oh, that's all he didn't do was hit it. Would have held the line. Pretty simple look. I mean, that's where you want to be on 18. It's just left of that whole location putting up straight up the hill. Not a lot of movement either. Good round of golf by Fred. And couples with that 67. Now Fred Couples tee shot also can reach this green with a good one. No, I was noticing something on the practice range this morning watching Fred warm up. We always talk about the you know the fade that he hits. He probably hit uh, eight to ten drivers, and I never saw one move from left to right. It was always a tight little draw. But this hole calls for a shot that would bend from left to right. As is normal with Fred, you don't know if he's going to hit a draw or a cut from his setup. And that, that was one, beautiful. Yeah, and that's chasing out nicely. You're going to be just behind the tee shot of Retief Goosen. And Fred just won off the lead. All three players in this final grouping took a good long, hard look at the leaderboard just to the right of the green here at 11. Fred, the first in the field in putting this week. That's uh, quite an accomplishment. Yeah, averaging what 25.2 putts around. That's, That's amazing. This is on a good line. Did he hit it hard enough? That was going in the center. Now, you had to be careful with that putt. I mean, you hit it in two, you just don't want to race it by four or five feet. Couples on the tee at 12. Think you'll try and flight this down a little bit, Billy Ray? Yeah, he's gone back to the bag a couple times, and also he's kind of going into the four corner stall here, trying to let the wind die down. It's just died down to just a light breeze now. Well, the whole location is right out in the middle. And he does fight it down just a bit, Lanny. Like this one got, left as well. Got to catch the edge. See if it does. If not, it stays in that collection area. Okay, it'll funnel back a little right from here. Back at the 12th. Long birdie putt for Fred Couples back down the hill, Billy Ray. Yeah, very, very fast coming down the hill. He'll be first to play here, even though the other two players have missed the green to the left. We'll send this out to the right. It will break sharply once it cups off that ridge and straighten up at the end. Needs to slow down just a little bit. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. Very, very nicely done. This might be the cure he's looking for here this week. And he's riding a nice hot putter to boot. Back to the tee at 13. Fred Couples tee shot looks like less than driver Billy Ray. Yeah, that's been his game plan throughout the week here on this par four, short par four that plays back uphill. Just trying to keep it short of the bunker on the left hand side. You get up the right hand side, it severely comes back down from right to left. So fairway plays much larger than what it looks from the tee. A lot of containment up the right. That is well positioned to this back center hole location. And helping Breeze as well. I mean, you can land that ball a good 20 to 25 feet short here, and it'll definitely take a big first bounce if it's coming in low. Right. He can go in a little bit low, try to carry it about five steps on the green. And coming in low, right to left there. He's going to chase it up there. There's that big first bounce it's there. Got to hold down. Got to woe down. Hey, what it looks like he's got like a seven or eight iron. It looks like by the look of the face, it looks like eight iron here. He'll That's kinda, old school. Yeah, he'll kind of right foot this, hands ahead. Little scooter up the hill. Boy, does this look good? I had it read perfectly. Yeah, it was a classy little pitch shot at this point in time. Fred Couples on the tee at 14, less than driver. Yeah, as he's done throughout the week, I can report to you as well. Retief Goosen has played his tee shot with less than driver, and he is perfect position just in the fairway. This is Fred's, I think it's his three high. Oh, man, yeah. did that hit hard. It is very fast down there. It's 317 yards to the run out today, basically. 
and that ball is about 300 yards. That ball actually flew about 245 yards and chased out. Yeah, and that's a good point. But the issue for Fred, though, from that left-hand side of the fairway, he's coming off, yeah, I don't want to say severe, but a, a pretty big downhill lie. 114 yards, same yards as Goosen. He needs to look at carrying it about where their balls are. Don't you think right there yeah, about 15, 20 feet short of the hole? Yeah, you know, maybe just a hair short of that. I think if he, because this ball's going to be coming in the trajectory in which it's coming off this downhill lie, I think you got to carry just a little bit shorter than that. It comes in very low. It's going to come up short, though. Coming back up the hill, Fred, very disappointed as he got up here on the green. After that short shot from 114, now lengthy, lengthy birdie putt going to turn from right to left. Just don't get too bold with this. He's got the advantage of putting back up the slope a bit, though. Wow. And I like his stroke. It just looks more solid when it's left hand low. The couples with the par at 14. Didn't look like he's happy with like any decision on this one. Talking with Mark Cheney. They have to focus and make a good golf swing. Has to go at least 240 to get you know, by the tree on that angle, and that that'll that'll be fine. And if you're getting greedy, you'd love to have it in that left-hand side of the fairway. Opens up. A whole different perspective of trying to play this shot. It's a great camera angle right here, right behind Fred. So you're looking right down the, right down towards the flag stick. Setting up left, looks like he's going to hit a little cutter in there. Coming in very high too. Needs to get down. Hi. Needs to get way down here. Mistake. Back at the 15th green with Fred Couples after that pretty poor wedge shot by anyone's standards, really, at this level. This is not an easy two putt here, Billy Ray. Not at all. It is downhill. Going to move left to right. I got to, he looked at this a long time. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but the intensity in Fred Couples' eyes right now, he is in full grind mode. Got to set this way out to the left. Comes back down the hill. Just great looking weight here. It's also going to need to find the dumpster. And this one up the right hand side for couples. And he said, oh, it kicks nicely there for going to hang in that right hand side of the fairway. Yeah, and it's down to a pretty much of a flat area. So that's a good shot there by Fred. Set up like he's going to hit a high cut in here. That's exactly what he's trying to do as well. Anything but good. This is actually going to be pretty good if it holds the green. Oh, here. it is. It hit the ridge that Kelly's third hit, and then it releases to the back of the green. Probably got unlucky it went that far by. I thought it was going to be six feet max. <laughs> what a well. great shot by Fred. That was very, very timely. Yes, and I think this is just a great look for couples. One left hand low, kind of a long putt for left hand low for Fred. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it. Right in the heart, too. Mm. He called it. Finally, it's, it's interesting because it almost puts the brakes on just short of the hole. He's going over the extreme right hand side of the tee box and it just I think he's going to try to hold one up here. He may have seven. I heard I thought I heard him saying seven. Just a little undercut one. He would have to take a lot off of that seven iron. But this is right Come at on. it though guys. He is really free swinging and what a golf shot at the right time for Fred Couples. Jerry Kelly had one just a little shorter than this for par. It does break a little bit to the left. I think if you hit it straight you might miss on the left, so I'm going to go inside right, right center, with some speed. Yeah! What a clutch two that is for Fred Couples. Hit that beautiful tee shot in there just at the right time. That looked too easy. No, you don't. And uh, you know, as you said, 
Couples can take a totally different line than which Jerry Kelly took. Can leave a much shorter shot. That has driven the ball beautifully throughout the day. This one very low here. Needs to get up. Oh, that's left of the bunkers. That is, is sitting up. And the one thing about it is got a good angle. Do not want any part of that. Of course, I'm not sure he's aware how hard these balls have been hitting up on this green. That's the one tough thing. Well, it, this could be a two advantage. You know this ball is going to chase out. He's just trying to find a point to where he wants to land it as well. 100%. No. Nice strike. It's probably going to take a big first bounce here. Needs to get down. That's going all the way to the back left. All the way. That's going to be 50, 60, yeah, 50 feet because it stopped in the fringe. That is not an easy up and down from right there for Fred. Hey, I think this might be one of the same plays. Uh, that's what it looks iron. like. I, it, yep. That looks like a seven or eight uh, iron in his hand. He's right. got his putter grip going with that. And we saw Furick from putting from a little to the right of where Couples was carried a little too much speed and it doesn't take the break as much, Lanny. Oh, this needs to get get down. It's turning hard back to the right. And there is a lot left in this putt. Wow, came out of that lie hot. Not an easy putt by any means. No, it's enough uphill he can make a stroke at it, though. So Definitely. It's, it's not downhill where he's got to be really careful Pace wise, you can go ahead and, and make his stroke right here. Couples was down two going to 16. Saw Kelly make birdie in front of him, then birdied 16. Hit an incredible shot into the par three, 17th for birdie to tie Kelly. Missed the fairway here at 18. Played his third to here. So now Couples for par and the playoff. Oh, it stayed there. You know what? That was good pace, too. That looked like he should have turned. But Jerry Kelly has won the American Family Insurance Championship back to back.